Good morning. I'm Dr. Ray. And I'm Jean, and we're from Couple Synergy. I don't know if you guys know this, but we have a podcast. We podcast people about their relationships. And we'd like to know how you guys are doing out there. And if you'd like us to interview you and your partner on our podcast, please send us a direct message. You can uh, DM through the Facebook page, or you can send us an email, contact at couplesynergy.com. So this is day four of meditation, and just want to keep you all in mind, all right, and remind you that meditation is a practice. It is something that you have to work on. It's not something that comes naturally to anyone, okay? When Jean and I did med uh, Vipassana meditation, and we did a 10-day silent meditation retreat, um, it was excruciating. We were meditating 10 hours a day. And still, we don't have it down, all right? So don't get frustrated and just hang in there. Working with your mind is no different than working with your body. You know, you can train and you can get stronger and you can do amazing things like run races and stuff like that. And then if you stop, it kind of goes away. And your mind's muscle is the same way. And the more you do this and the more you stick with it, the better you get at it and the stronger your mind will be. Today's meditation is inspired by some of my greatest teachers, whom I've never met. Uh, Michael Singer, who wrote a book called The Untethered Soul. Joe Dispenza, am I saying that? Joe Dispenza. <laughs> uh, who it has a lot of great information about our mind and how it works and how it works in healing our bodies. And Jerry and Esther Hicks and Abraham, who are really good at using the mind as a spiritual, as a bridge to the spirit world. Um, you can find all of their work on YouTube. So if you're sitting around and you're needing something to do, put something better in your mind and go on YouTube and listen to any of them. And now find a comfortable position, either seated or lying down, and gently close your eyes. Focus on your breath. And silently say to yourself, I choose peace. I choose peace. I choose peace. And bring your awareness to your thoughts. Have you ever really noticed how your mind works? If you pay attention, you'll see that it's constantly thinking. And it picks both sides of the same argument. It's constantly thinking, and it's trying to find a comfortable place. You might hear your mind say, I should call my mother. And then it says, no, I'm too busy right now. I'll call her later. And it just jumps back and forth and back and forth. And I want you to contemplate who is watching your mind do this. That is your real self. That is the self that can choose peace. Pay very close attention to what you feed your mind every day. I want you to imagine that you're looking at a book, a candle, and a jar of cherries. Are you the book, or the candle, or the jar of cherries? Or are you the one watching and seeing those things? We are not our thoughts.
if we allow our thoughts to run wild, we create an interesting feedback loop. If we choose peace, our mind then sends out through our brain chemicals in our body that says, I feel peace. If we choose to worry, our mind sends out chemicals in our body of worry. When those chemicals are coursing through our bodies, they activate our mind. And if we choose peace, we in turn have peaceful thoughts. If we choose worry, we have thoughts of worry. This is why meditation is so important, especially during these times of uncertainty. The truth is, you never had any control. Every moment of your day that looked exactly the same as the day before brought you a sense of certainty, which brings us comfort. But the truth is, that's just a program you are running. At any moment, life could have dealt you something else. It happens every day, all the time, to all of us. When you choose peace, Your mind works better. Your logical brain stays activated and you use more of your brain than just your emotional reactive brain. So bring your awareness back to your breath. And nurture the connection between your head and your heart. Contemplate what it means to think with your heart and feel with your head. Your body is made up of trillions of cells finding and seeking balance in every second of the day. Your body is made up of trillions of cells. The nature of those cells is to seek health. If you hurt your body, if you cut it in some way, you can't stop it from healing. Trillions of cells in your body are finding and seeking balance right now in this moment. And I want you to go ahead and focus on your heart center. And in your heart center, I want you to hold all the people in all the situations which are troubling you. I want you to feel the intensity of your worry. And let that build up. And now I want you to open your heart and take that pressure and send it out into the world as love. Love your family. Love your extended family. Send love to the people you work with. Send love to your neighbors. Send love to all the people you see when you're at the store, 
we're driving down the road. Send love to our government, who's working tirelessly to try to help us all. Send them this beautiful loving energy so they can find these solutions. Send love to people in different states. Send love to people in different countries. Send love to all living things, our dogs, our cats, horses, rabbits, gerbils, all the animals who love us, and the wild animals who keep nature in balance. And if there's still more energy from your worry, send love to the entire universe. Find your mind expanding up above the earth, over the treetops, through the clouds, to the edge of the earth's atmosphere, and out into the universe. Only love. Find the love that you're sending out. Connecting with the love of everyone else who's meditating with us today. Imagine if that love could hold hands and form a circle. Feel the resilience. Feel the connection. You are never alone. Even if you're alone physically, you are never alone spiritually. If peace comes from your head, then love comes from your heart. Nurture the connection between love and peace. If you had one message for the universe, silently say it now. and allow your awareness to come back from the edge of the universe through the solar system into the Earth's atmosphere through the clouds above the trees back into the room you're in and back into your body And I'll be silent for a moment as you say a short prayer of gratitude because there's food in your refrigerator and toilet paper in your bathroom and a roof over your head and you probably have electricity and for sure you have people who care about you just for today.
And with your next inhalation, fill your lungs up with as much air as you can. Take a deep cleansing breath. And exhale. Choose peace. Feel beautiful. Create your future. And take three conscious breaths. And gently open your eyes. Thank you again for meditating with us. We're offering an online uh, workshop tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Uh, virtual support group at 5 o'clock. So you can uh, join that on the Lighthouse page. Lighthouse Emotional Wellness Center. There is an event there that is for it and um, it is for anyone. Anyone struggling, uh, anyone worried. Um, it's just kind of a way for everyone to join together and, and support each other. Because we're all connected. And if you ever hear any funny noises while we're doing this meditation, our dog is in here with us meditating. And she's a little noisy. That's Jasmine. She loves to snore. Yeah. So. Have an awesome day. Create something. Go bake a cake. Do something besides be in front of the TV or, or your computer. Take a walk in the woods. It's beautiful out. It's kind of foggy and creepy here in Chicago. Take care, stay healthy, stay safe. Be at peace.